Alrighty, so this is the uh, Puzzle Cube Explosion assignment. So I'm going to get my inventor opened up here. It's going to take a minute. Um, you might want to get yours warm, warming up too. And the Puzzle Cube explosion, explosion activity looks like this. So you've got your Puzzle Cube you've designed, and we're going to create an animation that pulls it apart, and then a document that puts it all together again, or well, shows how the, all the pieces fit together. Um, there are directions that go step by step right here, but there are a lot, so I figured a video might be appreciated. Uh, so I went ahead and put that together for you. Um, shoe. First things first, uh, you'll need to have your puzzle cube ready. If for whatever reason you don't have one ready to go, you can use the, this uh, sample that I've got as a part of the assignment. Um, and you have to download all of the parts in order to do that. So right here, You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different files to add or to download. It's gonna make my mouse a little bit bigger for you. There we go. So we've got all these seven, and you're gonna click here and wait, let them download. And once it shows up here, you know I've got it. And you click the next one, next one, all the way through to the very bottom. And the reason we did that is because all of these files are associated with this puzzle cube, or sorry, this base cube is makes up all of these different pieces all these assemblies and then all of these assemblies make up this so in order for this big one to open that's the one that we're going to work with today you have to have all of the parts loaded on your computer otherwise it, it, it won't work so as long as you've got all of those downloaded you should be just fine and oops not that no this so once you're in inventor we're going to start a new file we're going to go file new and we're going to hit presentation Alternatively, we can click right here to presentation. That works as well. Both of them are the same, so um, those are just two different ways to get to the same file. It'll open. Mine says it's not responding. That's just great. And we're waiting. And we're still waiting. And we continue to wait. All right, and then it's going to get here, and it's going to say, hey, what piece do you want to add in here? And what we want to do is get the Puzzle Cube assembly, so the one that has everything put together. Yours will probably be in the downloads if you got it from me. So I'll show you that route. If I go up here and find downloads, it'll be this Puzzle Cube assembly. So we want the one with all of it put together. If it looks like this, that's not it. That, not it. You want that one. Click Open. So... Here is the puzzle cube, and I'm going to get to a view that I like. So here's my home view. Down here, you probably won't see when you first come on, it's going to look like this. You can click and drag right here to open up this uh, timeline a little bit better for you. Yeah. Yep. Quick one. Okay. Thank you very much. All right. And once you've got this thing set up, you're going to go up here to tweak components. So you click tweak component. And when I first come in here, it's going to automatically default to part. We're going to change that to component right here. And that allows me to click all the pieces in an assembly at the same time. I've had some students where it didn't do that. Uh, and you can do it with by part. And you can hold shift and click all the pieces until you get all of them together. And then it groups them. But the uh, best way to do it is to use component, if that works. Um, and then down here, it says the duration. We want to change that to like half a second, maybe one second. You want it to go kind of fast. That's telling us how long it's going to take for this part to move to where we're going to define its new position. So I click here and drag up on one of these arrows, or to the right or left or whatever, or even right here, I can go in all directions. Um, this will pull it out right here, I'm sure, just kind of where we want it. We want to leave about the same distance between it um, as the cube is. They're just, you know, so, you know, enough space that you can tell that they're different pieces. You click the check mark, and down here, you'll notice there's a timeline. So we just made two clips. If I zoom in like this, on this side, I can see these clips a little bit easier. And this is going to show me different types of motion. Um, I can drag through here, and it will follow it. You'll notice I accidentally made a second one in here that doesn't really do anything. So I can click on this and just say delete, and that will get rid of it. So there's one. comes up like that. I'll do my next one. I'll say Tweak Components. I'll click on my blue piece. I can pull it out here. Click Check. 
Then tweak component, green one, pull it out there, check, tweak component, yellow, bring it out there, and check. So now if I hit play, it'll pull it all apart. We made a pretty cool animation. You can play it in reverse to make it go back together by hitting this play button that's, you know, pointing left instead of right, like that. Super cool. You can edit these down here by dragging. I can make these go all at the same time like this, which is pretty cool. Either way will work just fine. Um, as long as you get to this view where you've got a, a picture of all of um, the pieces and they're pulled apart like this, and we're gonna create what's called a screenshot, or a snapshot, I'm sorry. So we go up here, next to Tweak Component, there's a thing called Snapshot View. We'll click that. Whew, excuse me. So what we've done is we just created a picture of this uh, part right here, or this assembly. So I'm gonna right click on this Snapshot View on this side, and I'm gonna say Create Drawing View, like that. It's gonna say you must save it, and I'll say okay. I'll save it here, it looks good. Yes to all, okay. And it's going to ask me what type of drawing, and I want the standard DWG. And I'll say create. And I'll create a new file over here. And this looks good, but um, this drawing is pretty big. So before I place this, I'm going to hit cancel. And I'm going to change this drawing size up here. I'm going to right click sheet one, edit sheet. I'm going to change this one to size. Let's go down to A. Click OK. And this drawing block down here, I'm going to get rid of that. So ANZ large, right click delete. But I am going to bring it back this time. We haven't done this before. I'm going to say drawing resources. I'm going to hit the plus thing here. And then the plus on title blocks. And I want ANZ A. So I'm going to say right click on that and say insert. So it'll insert that, but it'll keep it pretty small. So it's not enormous like the last one was. And then I'll go back up here to base view and it should remember that this is the piece we're creating. And once we've got that in there, we'll put it off to the side-ish just a little bit and say okay. Make sure that your shading is highlighted so that the color stays and you click okay. And there it is. So we'll go up, once we've got that, we'll go up here to the annotate tab and we'll hit the uh, up here on the top right, there's a balloon tab. Hit the down drop, and it says Auto Balloon. Hit Auto Balloon, and you're going to click on here, and then say, oh, and then you'll highlight and highlight all of the pieces. Select Placement, click around, and then if you come over here, these little bubbles are going to kind of fall around the part. I'll click to place them, and then I'll say OK. So that puts all of these parts have a number associated with them. I can click and drag these to move them. Like so, oh, to escape. If I click right there, come on, let me do it. Why is it not moving? Well, that one worked. There we go, jeez, that was tough. And you just kinda wanna move these around so that they uh, don't overlap with the other parts, and it's easy to read it. Man, I am really struggling with these. There's that. Maybe right there's good. And right there, okay. So I've got that, all of these have been labeled. I can go up here now, and I can say parts list. So th this is gonna do is it's gonna make a list of all the parts that are in this assembly. I'll click this view, click okay. And this little box is going to start following my cursor around. I want to put that right above here, above the, the uh, title block. Right click, and, or then I can just click off to the side and it's good. And uh, maybe hit escape. And then I can move this maybe over here just a little bit so it doesn't quite overlap as much. There. It's a little messy. Um, kind, of, kind of crowded in there. In fact, maybe it's worth making my... You don't have to do this, but I'm going to try this, see if it makes it look better. I'm going to change my page to size B. Yeah, that's better. So I'll hit my size B. Yeah, 
move my drawing over here. Or my, not title block, my bill of materials. Right there. I'm going to move this to the center. And if I wanted to resize this, I could. I could, re, I could right click this and say edit view and make this maybe two to one. Let's see what that does. And click OK. And maybe remove or relocate those bubbles and put them there. If I can click it. Got it. Got it. Okay. So that's going to give you your explosion view and your parts. You'll notice that all of these parts are associated with the number of the bubble. You can double click on here and you can change them as well. So if I change my part number, I could make it, uh, I could give them different names. So this first one, call it uh, just the green part. I could call number two blue. Call number three purple. And number four would be orange. And then number five can be yellow. Okay. I'll click OK. And that will update this right here. And that's all we need. So we are done. Now all we got to do is hit File, Export, PDF, and save it as PDF. And you can submit it. And you are done. And that is a wrap for this assignment. Good work. Submit it. Hallelujah.